Business Matters Now, more than 20 Quebec-based companies in Burlington discussed expanding their businesses. Where else? To the Green Mountain State. Yeah, and Governor Phil Scott and other Vermont state leaders were there to welcome them. Local 22's Courtney Kramer joins us live in the studio now. Courtney, how were they rolling out the red carpet? Well, good evening, Lord and Mike. The Canadian companies are traveling around New England in hopes to grow their businesses in the U.S. Today's state leaders shared why Vermont would be a good place to do so. We want you to succeed in Vermont because your success is our success. Governor Phil Scott welcomed dozens of Sherbrooke, Quebec-based startup companies to the Green Mountain State Wednesday to explore expansion opportunities. Some of our most advanced startups from Quebec, which will be ready to expand in the U.S. in a year or two from now. The delegation of businesses is traveling around New England to learn how business works in the U.S. and connect with economic development and legal leaders. Vermont is their first stop. As you grow your businesses here in the United States, I want you to think about Vermont as a great place to do that. Officials say Vermont's small size will allow businesses to grow intimate relationships and provide unique access to resources, something important to Louis Pierre as he's looking to grow and expand his business, which manufactures high-tech batteries for forklifts. To build a relation is a real challenge. Just having a, a resource that knows its network, knows its, its ground, um, and that answers the problem has a lot of value. The Canadian businesses say they'll bring well-paying jobs to the state, and the governor adds the expansions would also help grow the long-standing relations between Vermont and Quebec. So welcoming new companies and friends from Quebec to our state will only help strengthen the bond uh, that we have between the two regions. The Canadian companies now head to New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Connecticut, and Maine to explore opportunities there. Live in studio, Courtney Kramer, Local 22 News.